The new expansion is just around the corner, and I've returned from my research basement to tell you all about it. And firstly, 6.0 is gonna be an isekai, just like how Shadowbringers was also an isekai. Think about it. It's gonna be called Forspoken. But Yoshi P said, no, no, that name's not related to 14. But I have news for you, Yoshi P lies. He's a liar. Don't believe him. This video is sponsored by Tree of Life, Adria. Adria is a survival online game that deals with co-op or competition among players wrecked on a strange island. Gather resources and create useful tools and build your new home against harsh nature and ancient mysteries. You can make your own village anywhere on the map. Do you want to be a friend or an enemy? That is the question. I would be a friend, but you can do whatever you want to do. You can find hidden treasures all over the world and gather resources and craft powerful tools, all in order to protect your village from enemies. It looks like one of those games where you mess around with your friends and ruin their houses. If it looks interesting to you, check out Tree of Life Adria on Steam and make sure you wishlist it to know when it's released. And now back to the video. New jobs! But Summoner will be the star of the expansion, because I said so. Necromancer will be the next job. Job. Why do I think that? Because Yoshi P said, Never will there ever be a necromancer because raising dead people is evil and bad and we will never ever do that. So if you read between the lines here, it clearly says, Necromancer, please look forward to it. Speaking of dead things, Xenos has died and then lived again, then unalive again and lived one more time. So call me crazy, but in 6.0, I think Xenos is gonna dead again. Either that, or he's gonna try and smooch us, or maybe even hold our hand. Xenos also threw away his katanas, so he's probably gonna come back and reveal to us the new job that we're gonna get. And that's right, he's gonna be back with a Masamune. Sephiroth job confirmed. We're going to the moon! Zodiac is on the moon, and we're gonna join the Zodiac Club. Been saying that for 22 years now, and that's about all I have to say on the matter. There will also be new PvP, says my friend Frosty. Uh, I find it a hard time to believe him, considering the fact that the PvP in this game is hot doo-doo garbage that's on fire and also very, very bad. The towers. What's up with these towers that spawned all over Eorzea? Well, clearly, it's the doing of the Lambs of Dalamud. That's right. Right. If you're unfamiliar with the Lambs of Dalamud, basically they're crazy people who worship Bahamut. Only crazy people would do that. This quote from Yoshi P, which reads, Our progeny may never know wherefore we look unto the sky, nor why we dig for truths below. We bear their scorn or watch them die. Simply, this means that first we're gonna look up to the moon, then we're gonna dig down to the center of the star to find out about that noise, then people will be angry at us, but that's okay, cause they won't be dead. To sum this all up, don't tell anybody this, but I've managed to sneak into the Square Enix offices and obtained footage from the new expansion. We must become the lifeblood of Eorzea. As you can see here, it is clearly an isekai. Our real bodies will be transformed into our characters and Grandpa is back to lead us on a new adventure. Very excited for that one. Take you a place. Escape reality. Live the fantasy. The final fantasy. Rated T for teen. Now I know all of this is a little obvious, but we gotta keep it real here. It's just a theory, a final fantasy theory. Oh yeah, and then we're gonna get new MSQ quests, new dungeons, new trials, new raids, new 24 man raids, new jobs, new glamours, new abilities, either a new race or the male, female counterparts of the ones we got last time, new CG trailer, new crafting stuff, new relic things, new limited job, new blue mage stuff, and a summoner rework again. 